When I found him, it would be my turn to offer a few surprises. Surrender, Raziel. Abandon this petty rebellion. It was I who made you. Your life had played out, and in my grace, I spared you. You are my reaper of souls. You have no other purpose, no higher destiny. Just this. Accept your calling, Raziel. Let go of these vain hopes. Relinquish your will, and feed. No. What do you profit from this defiance? There's some grim satisfaction in infuriating you. My patience is eternal, Raziel. How many eons can you bear to languish here? The wheel of fate must turn. All are redeemed in the cleansing agony of birth, death, and rebirth. This is the engine of life, the purifying rhythm of the universe to which all souls are irresistibly drawn. Yours is a necessary and noble function, Raziel. Enough of your sermonizing. Are you trying to bore me into submission? Why must this game go on? We both know what you are. You're no better than the vampires you so despise. A voracious parasite, cloaking its appetite in a shroud of righteousness. I refuse to do your will. I can see into your heart, Raziel. It is not your will, but cowardice that keeps you here. How so? You know what fate awaits you when you leave the underworld. That phantom weapon you bear is a constant reminder, isn't it? The sword is waiting for you out there somewhere, and you tarry so as not to meet it. I could not deny it. As long as I lingered here, defying my captor, I was able to postpone what I feared was my inevitable doom to become the ravenous spirit imprisoned in the Reaver Blade. But that sentence was no worse than the stalemate I now endured. Better to face one's destiny than cower from it. Harvester of souls, I created you. And to this function, my angel of death, you will return. Enough. Yes, I submit. Very good. Indulge your hunger. Yes, embrace your calling, Raziel. You will find that just as defiance has its price, so obedience has its reward. And submission is not always what it seems. Way to give yourself away, Raziel. Okay. I'm just gonna look at chat real quick. Can we kill this asshole soon? Technically we do in... Because this that, that scene was like way in the past, like years, pro good 500 years before the first game. I should pause so my health doesn't deteriorate. So... In the first game, he does die. But that, that scene was 500 years before the first game. Which is something I find interesting, because... Chronologically, through the timeline, that's technically the first time they meet. But because Mobius is, like, the time guardian, he he's sort of outside the flow of time. So it's, it's not the first time Kane has met Mobius, but it's... It is words. It's... It's... I don't I don't really know how to explain it. I don't know I don't know how to put it into words, but hey we have the soul reaver. Uh which way am I going? But yeah, this is if you in the in the last game we could use the soul reaver, but we could also pick up other weapons or just use our hands. In this, 
no, we just have the Soul Reaver. That's that's the one thing I don't like about the combat. The combat is cool, but you're just limited to the one weapon. Also, Raziel actually glides now. It's not like a fall extender. Raziel's hair reminds me of Edward's hair. Yeah, a little. Actually, my health can't deteriorate here because I'm in the spirit world. Never mind. Yeah, Raziel's glide is an actual glide now. Also, that moaning and crying you hear, that, that will always happen in the spectral realm. It's fucking creepy and kind of cool. His thing over his mouth looks like skin. It's a, it's his cape from back when he was a vampire serving Kane. Yeah, it's a thing. Below me swirled an ominous looking mist. I knew that if I fell, it would mean my peril. When you're going home, there's no home. That was a delivery. When are we going home, there is no home. It's... It's... Both of those lines sound like they were said by the same person, but okay. The sound when you swing the sword sounds like Bloody Mary. Yeah. A little. It did that in the previous games as well, but I think it was a different sound. It's like wailing. A swooshing wailing sound. Um. Do you believe your worthiness is so easily proved? Your way is sealed until you have offered further evidence of your obedience. There. I must feed you before I depart this place. You must feed yourself, Raziel. So the wheel so. must turn. Ah, now you understand. Well, it's bedtime for me. Have a good stream, Dark Knight, guys. Night, Waji. Thank you for stopping by. And yeah, that was creepy AF. Okay, I want to point something out in this game that's different. I can climb these now. There was a point in... There, he In the previous game, he in the first game, he made a point to say that I can't climb walls in the Spectral Realm. And that carried over into the second game. But now I just can for some reason. Why the hell am I hearing Frollo? It is the voice of Frollo. I told you this. I told you this in the last game. It's, it's Tony J. How many of these do I need to? Oh yeah, you can move while doing this now. So that's something. I will be right back. All right. Can't, all right. Can't leave. See if we can get back. SHITE! I overshot it. I like that the load screen has death on it. So... You may go, but remember, you are mine. You can no more escape from me than you can escape yourself. Oh, sorry, babe. I forgot you told me I was distracting, but distracted by our dashing good looks. God damn it, babe. <clears throat> yeah, the souls actually have a humanoid shape now, so that's something. <laughs> God damn it, Tony J. You want this room cleared of its vermin? If you wish to leave it, your will be done, my good servant. Combat time. Hey, the Reaper's charged up. Good. 
So you see how Raziel has that spirally magical effect around his arm? So because in Soul Reavers 1 and 2, the thing was in the Spectral Realm, the Soul Reaver would be out all the time. And so that was your only choice of weapon in the spirit world. And that's, yeah, and that's shown by the effect on his arm. Except in this game, the Soul Reaver is your only weapon that you can use all the time. That you have to use all the time, so... Where do you think you're going, little soul? That mechanic's kinda out the door. Oh well, reach the top of the table before the deadly mist rises. Okay. You can't escape. Can't I though? Like fire, hell fire. Brazil. This fire in my skin, this burning desire is turning me to. <laughs> Clever as here. Clever indeed. Clever. No! Okay. <laughs> Beata Raziel, you know I am a righteous thing. <laughs> I've endured your game long enough. Really? We're only an hour in, though. S oh, son of a... This is gonna fuck me over. This camera! This fucking ca... Okay, it's a cutscene. No! Success. Clearly, my escape had not been anticipated or my benevolent master would not have expended such efforts to prevent me from going. And if my departure displeased him, then that was a victory, however small, for me. Christ, you're petty, Raziel. Babe, babe do I have that effect on you like in Hellfire? Absolutely. I feel her, I see her, the sun caught- oh. In the spectral realm, water is as thin as air, putting this opening far beyond my reach. But once I found my way into the physical world, I might be able to swim up there. The sun caught in a raven hair is this fucking camera! Is blazing in me out of all control. Like fire, hell fire, this fire in my skin, this burning desire is turning me to sin. This door would only open when fitted with an appropriate artifact. But to use such an object, I would first have to find a way back into the material realm. Oh, hey, they're saying my name. Also, that's a soul basin thing. Apparently, you can contain souls in the basin. Um, can't use that. Can't use it, though, because spectral realm. I can use walls, but not containers. Do I do that? Can't get me up here, for, but I get. I think. Ooh, pretty water. Yeah, too bad I can't. Too bad I can't fall on it. Oh, here we go. At last, I discovered a conduit into the material realm. It looked like I would a finally texture. escape the spirit world and take one step farther from my tormentor. 
<laughs> Did you think to receive the same favors after your rebellion as before? No, Raziel. I have no need for you to enter the physical world, so no conduit will be granted. You serve me adequately as a wraith, and a wraith you will remain. So, my restraints had not been removed, only loosened. I would not be held prisoner in the Spectral Realm. There had to be another way. I like that they, like, updated the design for the conduits into the Material Realm, even though that's the only one you see. They still put some effort in into doing it. I say some because it was a really garbage-looking texture. But that's fine. You only see it once, so not that much effort, but they did at least update it. As I emerged, I was granted a vision of what I would become if I did not escape the Spectral Realm. For these two were agents of my master, hunting the lost souls that struggled to escape the endless twilight of the Underworld. So this implies that there were others- whoa! Others before me. That's- ah! Son of a bitch! Because they're in midair, I can't lock onto them! And then depth perception, that that's definitely a thing. Also, they don't have souls, so I can't I can't drain them. My master's plan for me was ominously clear. Like these mindless hunters, I existed only to fuel him with souls, siphoning their energy to feed him and his wheel of fate. I had to break these bonds. I still possessed my own will. Oh, hey. This artifact seemed as though it was made for that unusual lock. Now the door could be opened. Received Falcon Insignia. Falcon Insignia. Whenever I pick up an artifact, I'm gonna listen to Kane say its name. God, the transition from one chapter to the next is quite jarring. That's fine. This is another thing that causes me to come become disoriented because this the falcon thing is a puzzle from like two chapters ago. So I'm. Never mind. And it's a bit of a flimsy excuse, but fucking. But still. Like it's a puzzle from two chapters ago. And I've all, I've just got done doing a thing with Razia. You expect me to remember where the hell it is? Like, is it this way? Ah. 
Wait, what? Yeah, that's another thing. A lot of these hallways look the goddamn same. Uh, okay, I'm back here. So I guess I'm... so I can do it properly. There we go. Oh yeah, if you do that shockwave correctly, you can launch them into... Hey, he said it! You can launch them into wall spikes. There aren't any here, but that's fine. Victus! Woe to the conquered. It's Victus, by the way, not Victus. With an I. Otherwise, otherwise that is not grammatically correct. It's Vey Victus. Although, according to proper, it would be pronounced with a W, because that's how the V was pronounced. Way Victus. Malik, the great Seraphim warrior. I had met him before. His sword and shield seem to have gone astray. Yeah, I believe Malik was a boss fight in Soul Reef in Blood in the first Blood Omen. Funhun okay. camera. Yeah, they came out of these square things that I'm standing on. There are just trap doors in the ground where these guys are hiding to ambush me. Look at it. Sanguine censure. Once an opponent is flung helpless into the air, I can follow suit, catching them before they fall, carving their flesh and bone with a second assault. Whoops. So it's basically the mid-air version of. Whoa. Okay, that's fine. It's the mid-air version of cadaverous laceration. Basically, combo into it. So like. He's dying. Okay, now where do I go? Where did I come from? Disorientation. I think no, this this is definitely where I came from. Oh, hold on. No, I didn't come from this way. Or did I? God damn it. Spellcasters can enhance abilities. Allies go. Okay, let's kill them first then. on fire did I do that oh I must have, I must have done that now what 
I, I can, I'm probably going the wrong way. Okay, no, I'm not. <laughs> Tell me, where can I find your master? <laughs> Quickly, Mobius is... In the tower. Good. Oh. That was kind of hot. <laughs> Attack! Hey, Victor! Hey, Victus. There's no blocking in this, I just realized. Enemies can block, but you can't. Come from. Uh, oh, hold on. Do I go? Do I go this way? Well, I'm lost. Uh. Oh, door! Got it. Let's see, disorientation. Aha! Yeah. Get used to that, that's gonna happen a lot. I have very mixed feelings on this game. Most of it comes from nostalgia. Upstairs. God, the stronghold does not look nearly as grand as it did in the previous game. I just ran a full circle, didn't I? Oh no, I didn't. Save here. Right, this is a sliding block puzzle. So let's do that. How do I get this out? Unless this is 
Oh yeah, there's another one. I pressed left. This is... This is a recurring bug. It, you press the thing and it goes in the opposite direction. At least you can push still. Good. Malik's missing shield. I hated to restore his dignity, but I would need to return this to his monument before I could progress. Yep. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Malik's shield. Let's hear him say it. Malik's shield. I'm pretty sure that's a very impractical way to have, like, handle for a shield. To just have an actual handle instead of, like... Sorry, let me start that sentence again. To have just a handle attached at one point instead of having it as a band. Though that is a kite shield, and I've never seen the back of a kite shield before, so I could be in the right. Oh, more shades. Oh, are they still? Oh, okay. There we go. Ah. Let's ignore them. Actually, wait, this way is quicker, isn't it? That's that's why there even are enemies down there. Attack! Oh, the gu it's all Die, the person I'm going bad. for is always the one that screams attack and then gets interrupted by me. That is incorrect, Kane. It's Victis with an I because it's woe to the conquered or for the conquered, whichever you prefer. So it should be Victis with an S. <laughs> This stronghold is not nearly as easy to navigate as the one in the last game. I get the distinct feeling I've headed the wrong way. Oh. Nope, never mind. This looks. Nope! Nope, nope. This is definitely the wrong way. God damn! Hey, babe. Sorry for going missing in action without warning. It's okay, babe. Is everything alright? Babe, don't let me keep you from eating. Eat it, eat it, eat it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
this is, I'm sure this is riveting to watch me run around trying to figure out where the, how the fuck to get back where I was. But I want to stay here and watch you play. But babe, you need to eat. It's not this way, is it? Oh, yes, it is this way. Okay. Fuck! And of course, there's bad guys. Good thing there's falling damage. Fuck. Get down here! Oh, is this how I get up there? It is. I don't know why it's playing the combat music. There's no one here. Oh, there they are. Citadel, and yet, like, this is a stronghold for vampire hunters, and yet they have basins of blood for me to sustain me. Distasteful this errand was, I would return it to its proper place. Basically, another version of what he said about the shield. Malik's sword. Attacking that screams attack. Oh wow, he that, what, he just went right through that wall.
that way, sir. That scream is amazing. Why did I come home to find you buffering, damn it? God damn it, buffering, why? Because YouTube's a piece of shit. Oriented this time. We see you have the puzzle item. Would you like some enemies to impede your progress? I just realized I have said nothing good about this game. I have only complained about, like, the bad things. I mean, the voice acting's still on par, I guess. Though the writing, I don't know how I feel about the writing. It's good, but it doesn't have the same, like, <clears throat> that Soul Reaver 2 had. Soul Reaver 1 was a bit awkward because it felt like it was trying too hard. Soul Reaver 2 is just the right amount of, like, cheesy without being repetitive, though there was a bit of repetitive. It was, it was, it was slightly repetitive. Mage does not protect you from flying damage, from falling damage. Of that. Babe, I'm still in the stream, just gonna reply to those as well. That's fine, babe. Show, send me a picture of what you what you make when it's done. I wanna see. Oh, I found out I can stream, but very poorly with a lot of buffering and a whole bit rain. Ouch. Hopefully it's at least watchable. Wait, horrible buffering? Why? God damn it. The way to the tower now lay open before me. I look forward to finding Mobius and resuming our conversation. Indeed. <coughs> Excuse me. Dip Why are these here? What about the people who live here? Do they have to put up with that? Or is it just because I'm here and the alarm has sounded? Oh. I hate the camera so much. Go watch the horror on my Twitch channel sometime. I shall. L send me a link to your Twitch channel on, on uh, Facebook. That way I can have it and won't have to scroll back up through the chat. Ow, arrows in the chest. Yep, guess I can't be a vampire anymore. Oh, okay. Where's the, where's the, where's the mage? Ah. Or he is pissed. Ow. I was saying something, but I forgot what it was. Oh yeah, the switching camera angles. It takes like a second for the controls to accommodate the new camera angle, so even if you switch to pressing, even if the camera angle changes and you switch to another direction, you'll still run in that direction for like a second. Wait. What did that do? So 
many locked door puzzles. Oh, 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 I see. I would find another way to proceed, or I would just unlock it. Why does... That was weird. He said, I will find another way to proceed, which implies that I have to go somewhere else and do a thing. But no, it's just... Unlock it. Also, all of you can fuck off. Nope. Okay, that was that was cool. Infernal sundering. Upon slamming the serpentine blade of the Reaver into my adversary, the resulting force will blast their pathetic body into the very ground beneath. Okay. Not that. Ah! There it is. Nope. Nope. I I'm trying to combo this. That guy's having a spasm over there. Okay, so it's... Ha! Nope. Yes! Hi. That scream is so good! Decorative sword. It's such a mundane name. It's like decorative sword. Okay, I'm behind the thing now. Uh, I hate that it does this. You get the puzzle item or oh, oh, reach the door that you need it for, and then it's like, hey, more enemies. I bet once I get to the room that this sword is for, it's gonna spawn more of these guys. Also, th that guy's just oh. dual wielding maces. <laughs> Obviously not somewhere I need to be right now. No, I, I remember what this room is for. I, I don't need to be here. Look, more enemies, but why?
Well, I was half right. There were more enemies on the way back. I'm just doing all this to find Mobius again. Come on. Oh, I see. Wait, is there a door this way? No, if there was, I'd be able to look at it. Is this? Aha! Curious. This artifact, joined with the relic I discovered earlier, appeared to be but one fragment of a larger emblem. This shard was endowed with elemental fire, enhancing both the Reaver and my telekinetic powers. You mean like this? Okay, that's how that works. I can't I can't cheese it. Okay, now we go back to that room from before. I could just turn the thing to do this, but no. Screw you. I don't I don't I I, I don't shut up. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. As you can see our swings have a fire effect now. Balance emblem has no effect, but when you do with when you do with any of the other ones, it creates the fire effect. So that looks cool. Oh, let's go back. Like even normal attacking produces fire. So that's that's awesome. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's how that works. This is another problem with the fixed camera. <laughs> Platforming. You can't do. You can't do that. You can't do that. Game. Can't do that. <laughs> ah! Guys, do you see this shit? Do you see this shit? At least it's not a fucking timed puzzle. Though I, I'm pretty sure one of those appears later. How though? Okay, that's that's better. Thanks, thanks, game. Thanks for doing that. <laughs> How? Why? Who thought this was a good idea? This is. I agree. This is bullshit. Okay, this is a bit better. I mean, it's... Wow. Wow! The the fact that I'm using was to move is partially to blame because it limits the directions I can move in. But still, this... Do I go over there? Yeah. This is horseshit! Here you are at last. 
I see you found a fragment of the balance emblem. This will be of even further use to you if you can find the other three. Now, shall we? Yes. Let us continue our conversation, but on a somewhat different footing. Now, what do you have to tell me, Mobius? You cannot kill me. We both know that this is not how or when I die. Death is not the only possible outcome. Your delusions of fulfilling the vampire's foolish prophecies have badly distorted your judgment. And Raziel is not what you think. You dare imagine what I think. So, you prevented Raziel's soul from entering the Reaver. Do you believe for a moment that by this you have averted your fate? Or his? Or that of Nosgoth itself? Your manipulations are pathetic. Yet Raziel retains his free will, and that's what frightens you, isn't it, Mobius? You cannot see his path, and so you cannot control it. And neither can you. Yes, Raziel is shrouded from us, but we see the ripples of his potential actions, and every path he might choose leads to the same outcome. He will kill you, Cain. In sparing Raziel, you have written your own death sentence. You still have not answered the question I came to ask. Where is Raziel? He is not, in a true sense, here. Not now. Don't try my patience, Mobius. What have you done with him? He is contained. In time, it may be safe to release him. His destiny must be completed. He will enter the sword. But until that time, he is dangerous. Far more dangerous than you could understand. And your incontrovertible evidence? The answers are plain, if you know where to look. Go west of the pillars. There you will find a testament written in stone. But stones too. Can lie. <laughs> All right, let's go. The pillars of Nosgoth stood pristine against the horizon. To the west, I would find the enlightenment Mobius felt I lacked. So things like this usually just mark the end of the chapter. Looks cool though. 